We are back today for another episode of Pack Attack, and it's actually the last episode of Pack Attack for Season 1 on Diamond Dynasty. Last episode as I sit down right now is at 35 likes, so we are adding 3,500 stubs automatically onto today's episode. And you know what? I don't want to just keep going back to this over and over, but I do want to get season two started off on a hot note for next episode. So let's try it again. Let's try to hit 50 likes on this episode. And if we do that, we'll double what likes will be worth. And that should get us off to a very hot start for season two and we've been staring at him since this video started we have a brand new best offensive player 88 overall live series ronald acuna was pulled out of a chase pack in the last episode and for now he's playing center field it took me so long to decide who to take out of this lineup i really wanted to do something about tommy edmund and i thought about moving kike to short and then getting rid of edmund but kike attributes are so low I was also trying to guess who might go down in the roster update and looked like both Kike and Edmund can go down but I figured just since Kike's attributes are the worst even though I was playing well with him I decided to take him out also on a bit of a side note when I was looking at different players stats to see if they would go down I didn't even realize that Jake McCarthy was playing this year I thought he was hurt I assumed he was hurt because he never gets inside edge but I didn't realize he's been playing and he's been playing pretty bad so he might get a massive decrease in his ratings here might be a sad day because of how good he's been but this could end up being his last day with the team Acuna is the only addition to the team but for getting his 400th career save Kenley Jansen is supercharged today and because of that I'm gonna use him as an opener and the only reason for that is because I want to have the chance to use a supercharged player you know if somebody on this roster is supercharged you want to get them in the game but so many of these pack attack games we don't even get to our bullpen so I want to make sure Kenley gets into a game so we're gonna use him as an opener everybody else from our packs got sold it added another 7,006 stubs to the stub bank so our stub bank is now sitting at 43,035 so if we have another pack opening equal to that today we'll get up to 50,000 stubs for the start of season two and we might be able to open one of the new packs right away and also going back to last episode where I brought up my two ideas for rule changes everybody who commented about it seemed to be on board with both of them so we're gonna put both both of them into play. I think I got everything said that I wanted to say because there was a lot there, but I think I remembered it all. So we're ready to go. Our winning streak was finally snapped though. So we got to turn that back around, get some more wins under our belt, start building that back up. And this actually might be a big game because if we lose, we drop under 500. And then I don't really know what we would drop back down to once the new season starts. So guys, make sure if you enjoy today's episode, you hit that subscribe button for me so you don't miss pack attack as we move into season two. I restructured the lineup too. We have Acuna leading off, Seeger batting two, Ward, Jordan, Hoskins, Devers, JT, McCarthy, and Edmund. And because I was saying that, I completely missed who he had on the mound or anybody on his team. So what do we got here? He has a 17 and 15 record. Okay, it's a winning record, but it's not nothing too crazy. Oh, this is one of those stadiums. Oh boy, two foot tall fences. They might be 300 feet deep everywhere. This is kind of a cool looking stadium though. There's a lot of distractions though. I got to keep focused on Darvish. Acuna with a perfect in his first swing. Are you kidding me? Has that been happening a lot this year in general? Those jumping catches? Seeger, who knows? That might leave at this stadium. <laughs> not quite. Ah, I'm still frustrated about Acuna's perfect not getting down. He made a perfect swing in his first at bat. Oh, that's not a good sign though, striking out on that. I feel like I 
should have and even could have done something that inning. A lot of people, I feel like when they use an opener like this, they're, they don't actually use it as an opener. They just, it's just kind of a bullpen game. At least my thought of what an opener should be is, you know, you have them start the game, throw a couple innings or an inning, and then you bring in your guy to eat up a bunch of innings. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hopefully throw Kenley for two innings here. And then I plan on bringing in Severino to eat up five, six innings, maybe the rest of the game. That's a good start, though, for Kenley. I didn't even realize that was strike three already. Come on, we got to get him out here. There we go. Okay, that was too close. There we go. Good inning out of Kenley. Two strikeouts, and I think it might have even been single-digit pitches. Look at that. That ball would have left if that was fair. It was 78 off the bat. Ah, oh, what am I taking that for? This guy, he knows what he's doing on the mound. He's mixing it up. He's throwing a lot of junk. Man, I he just has me all over the place here. I mean, I guess you kind of got to adapt to become a good pitcher if you're going to play at this stadium as your home field. Man, that is, that is a perfect spot. It doesn't help that sometimes I tend to have trouble hitting Darvish anyway, and this guy knows what he's doing. There's another strikeout for Kenley. That's three out of four batters. He's sat down. And then we get a first pitch pop-up. Man, if this out number three is quick, he might actually give us three innings. Come on, Seeger. Oh, he made the play. It's a yellow throw, and ah, we didn't get this scoop. I still have trouble making the green throws when it's a diving play. You can't call that an error. Did they call that an error on a diving play? There we go. That sits down, Biggio. That will be it for Kenley. Apparently, he gave up no hits through two innings. Man, I that might be my best swing of the day yet. And it just didn't give me anything on it. You know, I just realized I didn't even check to see. But I'm assuming it is max elevation. Yeah, okay. God, I was late on a fastball right down the middle in that at bat. So I'm trying not to do that again. And then he throws that cutter and it's like a change up. Oh, and... I'm just late and just under it. The fact that we are playing at the stadium we're playing at on all-star difficulty and I'm having a perfect game thrown against me through three innings, that's not a good sign. All right, we're bringing in Severino here. Hopefully he's going to eat up the majority of this game. One pitch, that's not going to be an out with Edmund's arm. Nope. That would have been one benefit of keeping Kike around and putting him at short. We're gonna get there right, McCarthy. Big speed out there and right. If he steals against Severino and gets a good jump, there is no chance I throw him out. And how, what is going on all of a sudden? He has a perfect eye? Seeger, hey, there we go. We got one ourselves. Nobody was covering first. I threw it to first. There was somebody at first. There we go. Sit him down on the slider. No harm. All right, Acuna, just do what you did last time, but get a little lift on it. Oh, that got me. That cutter is honestly giving me the most trouble right now. It's so slow. And he went... How do you spot the sinker that perfectly? Man, and then I'm early. I, I know what's going to happen here. We hit. We make one good swing, hit one out. It's going to open the floodgates. But until we do that, I'm just getting carved up. Oh my god, what is happening? This is comfortably the worst that I've hit in a pack attack game yet. Alright, sit him down again, but he's going to get on base. The ways that he's found his way on base in this game. Alright, there we go. Straight away center for Acuna. That is one thing right now, is our outfield defense is very poor. Ward and left, Acuna in center right now, both have common fielding badges, and then McCarthy and right is just barely at a 60. There we go, up and in at 99, it sat him down. We're getting a lot of strikeouts today, which is good. That's not good. Thankfully, he got no lift on that. We got arms. He's not scoring. Perfect throw. Oh, yeah, he's out by a mile. Good job, relay team. 
I don't understand how we're heading into the fifth inning without anyone scoring yet, but well, that changed quick. You're done with a no doubter on a line drive. Hopefully I was right. Hopefully that opens the floodgates. Yup. Now Reese is going deep, Oppo, on a slider below the zone that he was late on. That was gone by so much, and it said it went 324 feet. How deep are these lines? I didn't think they could get closer than 300. But if that one was 324, they have to be shorter than 300. That's gone too. All of these are no doubters. That is the funniest part. Oh, I don't think I got that one. Straightaway center is just a little bit too deep. But hey, three homers in a row, that's good for Stubbs. That's 2,000 for the back-to-back-to-back. -to -back -to -back. Oh, man, he made a couple of good pitches that at bat. Got me swinging low and in, jammed me. And Edmund. I really want to hit one out with Edmund here. I feel like that, that would encapsulate this stadium. We opened the floodgates for ourselves by hitting home runs. Hopefully that didn't just open it to everybody. We don't need to start giving up stuff to him. Keep him off the board. There we go. Keep that circle change in the zone to get him. Oh, and we got him on another slider. That's five strikeouts for Severino. How many did Kenley have? It was either four or five for him. We're either at or approaching double-digit strikeouts already. Oh, that's a strike game. That's strike three. That's strike three anyway. Just one extra pitch. Who cares? All right, let's get things back going at the plate here because we are on a run of hitters that can go deep every time. Start it off, Acuna. Well, that's not going to go, but that could get us on. Oh, easy with 80 speed. And he walks Seeger, so now we have two on with nobody out. Oh, man. Okay, Taylor Ward is struggling. He's seen eight pitches in this game, and he struck out twice and popped up to the catcher. There's Jordan with another one, right? That is terrible. That's so bad. I was so far under that. I was late. It was a pop-up. It was a 315-foot pop-up, but it was a no-doubter. Oh my god. How did he get me on that? Was I actually late? I didn't feel late. Devers, that's not getting through. Man, I want to get a perfect, perfect home run. Just to see how far it'll actually go at this stadium. As good as things seem right now, though, with this stadium, I don't even feel comfortable about a 6-0 lead. That should be another out. Edmund will get there. And there's another quick out. All right, nice quick inning this time for Severino. Keeps our 6-0 lead. Let's see if we can add on. Maybe we mercy this guy. That? No. That's not dropping in here, no, because they got to play so shallow. You know, even though I've put up my runs, this guy is still pitching really good. I mean, he is mixing up his speeds. He is not missing his spots. I've just made a couple of swings decent enough to leave at this stadium. If it was a normal stadium, there's a very good chance it's still 0-0. That could leave. McCarthy hit one out. That's his first home run. With how good he's done, all the base hits, the triples, the doubles, that's his first one he's hit out. Oh, and Edmund can't even hit out a hanging slider. And he didn't even get on from that? Tommy, run. Acuna, oh, that's... I didn't think Mankata would get to that at third. Still want to see an Acuna shot. That hasn't happened yet. All right, jammed on a fastball in, and that was almost to the track. This guy's starting to make quicker outs now, which is actually, I don't know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, because on one hand, it keeps Severino from losing energy, but on the other hand, we don't get the extra strikeout stubs. Another jammed pop-up on a fastball in. One more out here in the seventh. Ah, man, Murakami. I think that's his second perfect swing. It's like the only guy this guy can do anything with. There we go. We'll throw that to second. Make sure the weak arm doesn't factor in. That's seven scoreless innings at this stadium. This is our last chance to get into Mercy territory. He's sticking with Darvish at 100 pitches. Three runs is all we need. Oh, man. 
Wait, actually. Oh. <laughs> if the outfielder wasn't there, that would have had enough to leave. There we go. Base hit. Haven't had too many of those. It's just been all homers. Actually, I think we're perfectly efficient to this point in the game. We don't have any runners left on base. Oh, uh, there we go. He's finally going to a new arm. It's Felix Bautista. He's always been tough for me to hit. Yeah, that splitter always gets me. There we go. The fastball doesn't get me, though. That is three home runs for Jordan this game. He is getting back on track now. No shot, I missed that. Look at it. Look, I was swinging for the splitter. Come on, Devers, it's all down to you. Come on. Go, ball. Go. It got out. That's 10 runs. Devers with his second homer of the game, and we are in mercy territory. If we can keep him from scoring, we'll end this game an inning early. Oh, my God. Oh, that's bad to strike out on. All right, let's see if Severino can lock this one down for us. Get us the mercy. Get us the shutout. That's not a good start. Oh, and we're letting him take second. He's going to take second, too. Unless we... Oh, I made... No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nobody's... Oh, wait. What can we do about this? Get him at second. Nice. Double play. Oh, man, all you had to do was just not swing, and you had free runners on second and third. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Just got to let him take it. Man, he's trying to dial in that very late home run right down the line. Oh, well, never mind. He'll turn on it. Ah, man. Really, with two outs, one more out needed to end the game, and that's when he finally does something. That's 82 and a half off the bat, and it leaves. Oh, now he's... Come on. See, this is the thing. I'm still worried about actually winning the game. Man, I just, I can't help but think of all the stubs we just missed out on. An extra 1500 for the mercy, an extra 1500 for the shutout, all the stubs that are going to get taken away from him scoring runs. I think that's 1500 because it's 500 stubs per run allowed. That's a swing of like 4,500 stubs there if Edmund just didn't hit that one out. Oh my god, I thought I was all over that. Really? PCI didn't get there? Come on, I want to add a couple back on. Earn a couple of those stubs back. Edmund. Oh, it didn't leave. Of course it didn't leave. He doesn't even have enough power to get it over a two-foot wall. Oh, Acuna. Come on, I just want to hit one out with him in his first game. Let me do it. Oh, come on, really? Mill the bat with two strikes on an 0-2 count, you take him out. Oh, but instead, there's our Acuna home run. There it is, turned on that sinker, get a couple of runs back, and we maintain our perfect efficiency of leaving no one on. Another walk for Seeger. He doesn't have a hit, but that's his second walk. Oh, what am I swinging at? That was ball four. We brought it back from an 0-2 count. Could have had two on for Jordan's fourth homer of the game. Oh, he didn't hit a home run. That's a ground rule double. Oh, that's funny. Reese, that one gets down the line too. All of a sudden, we're not hitting it out. We're just hitting it down the line. All right, I mean, I guess that's what you get for extending the game. We'll put up four more. Oh, Devers. That's a cookie right down the middle. That's two more runs on the board. All right, well, I'm going to try leaving Severino in here just to try and not burn any bullpen arms unnecessarily, but that's not the best way to start. Yeah, he's finally starting to actually see Severino, and we're low on energy. Okay, well, that's not a run yet. Man, this guy still thinks he has a chance. Look at him subbing in a new hitter. That's actually kind of scary that he still thinks he has a chance because he's the one used to this stadium, not me. All right, there we go. Popped him up. Free out with nobody advancing. Oh, my God. I keep getting thrown off. I'm thinking we're going to get a different type of meter. Come on, man. There's no need for this. The game's over. 
Edmund, come on. We don't need this. We don't need to be giving up extra runs and losing extra stubs. Going to Colin McHugh for one out. Finish it off, Colin. There we go. One pitch gets the ground out. Ends this before we have a chance to blow any more stubs. But I still think we're about to see an absolutely disgusting amount of stubs here. 14 runs with as many homers as we hit. Well, I guess we probably didn't rack up as many strikeouts as I thought because I don't even know if I struck him out from like the sixth inning on. But that's a good win. That is a good game, a good performance to wrap up season one on crazy how there were 19 runs scored in that game but no runs scored until the fifth inning we had an extra 45 rating points on i don't know if that matters though because we'll probably i'm assuming we're gonna reset down to 450 i'm assuming we're about to see some parallels here severino got up to one mccarthy to two and that was actually it we must not have been close with anybody yeah all of that parallel xp Jordan made 314 in that game but he was too far away from parallel too. And here is what that game is going to get us. Oh my god, guys. From hitting alone, we made 25,900 stubs. Pitching only got us 3,100 and and then from the bonus category, it's an extra 5,652. For our multiplier today, it's back to a winning streak, just a one game winning streak. And then eight parallel ones with two parallel twos gets that multiplier up to one 0.075 so we are finishing with a final stub count of 37,251 so close to that 40,000 and here is what we are able to get with those stubs we have no more diamond duo packs available to purchase we weren't at 40k to get the choice pack so it's all show packs cost us 37,500 stubs so we had to pull 249 out of the bank to cover the rounding so here we go do we have any luck left in us at the end of season one at the very least you would hope that 25 show packs would guarantee at least that 7,000 stubs we need to add to the bank in order to get up to 50k there's a gold rice cell okay that's another bullpen arm but yeah if we can get up to 50k which we should in the stub bank another gold trevor story i don't know we'll think about it but anyway Maybe I won't get interrupted by another gold this time. If we get up to that 50k in the stub bank after selling all these cards today, we will start next episode opening whatever the new pack in the shop is going to be. So we will pretty much be guaranteeing ourselves starting out with a brand new set 2 card from the show shop right at the beginning of next episode a uh, silver george kirby we're familiar with him he, he had a stint on the team pretty good outing that one time ah we're gonna be seeing a lot of that still 15 to go i've already ran out of things to talk about how do i fill the time now two silvers in one pack how are we so lucky gold collectible and another silver out of this one i think this is about the halfway point here another gold collectible 12 packs to go plus the gold topper another gold player Ron from the twins that's another bullpen arm upgrade so that's two new golds for the bullpen that actually is not bad Th those are a couple of solid pulls right there i will take that man Cattell Marte is a bronze that still doesn't seem right he was so good at one point oh oh hang on i don't care about Cattell Marte we pulled another diamond that's three episodes in a row now that we are pulling a diamond who's this one gonna be it's another purple so we're stocking up on these low diamonds but who do we got who is this is that Machado that's Manny Machado Machado. He's only an 86. How did I not know that? Well, I don't know. I don't know what kind of season he's having in real life, but maybe we get lucky and he gets upgraded. Another silver. It's Newt Bar. Eight more packs to go. Still plenty of time to find another good pull out of one of these. It's funny though how our pack luck has completely turned around. Ever since I complained about our pack luck, we've pulled three diamonds out of three straight diamond duo packs. We've pulled a chase pack, and then now we pulled one out of just a, a show pack. Nothing out of this one. Taylor. Oh no, we already had Taylor Rogers. Another gold collectible. We're definitely at that 7,000. 
thousand. You gotta assume we're there. Another gold player, Marcus Stroman. I doubt he makes it over anybody that's in our rotation right now. Just two to go. What do we got? Second to last pack, another silver. Can we cap this off with one last good pull? And no, that's actually the worst pack yet. We do have one more left. It's a gold topper. We do have one out of 25 odds of pulling another diamond. So what do we got? At least one more guaranteed gold. It is a gold and it's going to be CJ Crone. I actually thought his hitting would be better than that. I was going to say he could replace Hoskins, but now I don't know. I think Hoskins might be better. But there we go. That is going to do it for maybe the most successful pack attack game to date. And the next episode of Pack Attack is almost guaranteed to start off electric because we are more than likely going to have enough stubs in the stub bank to buy a pack right away and add a high overall to this team. And on top of that, if you guys hit that 50 like goal, we're going to double our stubs for the likes and that would be at least 10k that we'd be starting out with. So make sure you guys have all hit that like button today so we can get that electric start on season two. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. But that does it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you next time.